I, I, I kind of... Uh, I learned a lot about that kind of thing before I went though. I was always listening to that music and listening to American music and uh, as well as British music as well. But I think American music has been a bigger influence on me in a way. You know, I grew up listening to country and blues and rock and roll. And uh, and then, yeah, that trip, I went off to America to a few different places, but that trip in particular, I went off there and ended up staying for a couple of years. I think I went off there for a couple of months and I was staying for a couple of years and it was uh, it was great. It was very inspirational. Yeah, I got to to experience it, you know, firsthand and work with loads of different musicians and uh, travel around, go down south and, you know, go to Memphis, Nashville and all those places and be among be among great players and uh, you know seek out places that I've always wanted to see and where great musicians are from. There's also a big illusion sometimes to these places when you go there, you know, like you go to Liverpool because of the Beatles and you go to so and so because of... and uh, you know, there's a big tourist attraction among those things. So I think, I, I like, you know, you're always, you go to these places and you expect something and you don't find it in particular and and if you look and if you kind of look in the places in the coffee houses and where all the these kind of low life places that's where you're always going to find great music and uh you know and great art and it's you know with new york i think it's very much on the street it's more evident that things are on the street you know it's uh you take it to the street and you go into these parks and people people celebrate that whole thing out there a lot more that's what i like you know you go into washington square park and it's a big thing that people are performing there and that's the thing i like about it most and uh and I like the late night coffee houses and you know I, I like those intimate places where there's you know you can lessen the gap in a way between you and the audience and and get things across as well as I like being in big theatres as well you know I just I like to perform but is there something special about being in an intimate surrounding and uh, and getting your music across and some of the some of the best things I've ever done I guess because it does seem to me that one of the most unique things about you is um, beyond lights of good songs and what have you is the is where I haven't really heard a voice like yours for like I was saying earlier maybe decades mm -hmm. and it is there's a certain quality that I don't know where it comes from but it's like you know a high keening tone bell like quality is that just something that you always had when you were a kid and you you first you know first sang a hymn at school or whatever you had that I voice. Sing. I did actually do all that, you know, because I come from that kind of background and I went to church and all that kind of stuff. I guess it plays plays a strong part. I love gospel music, I love country, I love blues and uh, I think blues mainly is the underlying thing to all of that thing, uh, all of that kind of world that, you know, runs runs through it all and uh, if, you know, if you can reach yourself out and sing the blues then you're going to feel it and uh, I think, you know, feeling what you sing and doing it with sincerity is a main thing and uh, I, I can't remember not singing you know I can remember not writing a song I can remember the first song I wrote but I can't remember not singing I always sang and always listened to singers and and I, I you know singing something that's the most important thing to me I think you know I mean it's it's the performance and uh, as, as well as it's great when you write a song I would always uh, I'd always rather the voice because you can always sing other people's songs you know yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I guess it's uh, again. I didn't, I didn't really. I haven't sat down and said, you know, what well, I don't want to sing like anyone else mm -hmm. or whatever. I learnt, I learnt from listening to the great singers. You know, I learnt from listening to, to uh, many singers in blues and country and jazz and all those kind of areas. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think if you, if you research everything, you're gonna obviously have something unique going on. Mm. With the writing, I don't. I never try and hide the influences. I, I I try and have a little bit in there of everything, and it's uh, uh, you mix it all up, and you you come up with something, and you shake it all together, and it, and it you know you 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 just uh, you, you come up with something yourself. But I, I I prefer the more sincere things. You know, I, I prefer to to get something down that I'm uh, that I'm trying to say, and and uh, not trying to hide in any way or trying to be cool or any of these things I just uh, I prefer to to sing my heart out and stuff you know and I, I, you have to believe in a lyric you have to believe in a song to do that you know so uh, whether I'm I've written something or I'm singing a cover by someone has to be something I strongly believe in